today at the qualification, a very strong rider who he's was a fifth a fever born in, to this season. Yes, Mike? Uh, he's co he comes from Snowbird, Utah. Hope some Americans are looking at us, even if it's maybe very early in the morning. Three, two, one, and he starts. On course, motivated at the start, already a small drop. Looking for his line now on the top face. It's actually a very strange face because when you start, you don't see where you're going. So you have one fifth of the face where you have to navigate with your radar. Nice drop, nice landing in first. Wow, he's going quite fast, Mike, uh, I think. Yeah, he's going very fast, big jump. Further, one meter further than uh, the last rider. Opening Ooh. a new line, always going for a big, big, big one. Whoa, yeah. double! No, too bad. I think the the kick of the second one was a kind of double cliff, a sneaky one, and the second one was a little bit tricky because uh, he was landing more or less on the takeoff of the second one. But still riding quite fast at the bottom for another drop. Americans are on fire today. Well, Julien, I think it has never been done. On where on the jumps on the double kind of he tried and he didn't land it but I don't think I never seen that one. Did you? I'm looking forward to see the video. That's that's true. I, I want to see the footage because as you said, I don't think it has been written before. And since the conditions are really crazy this year, we have so much snow that uh, maybe some holes that uh, used to be non readable on our field in, and we have the chance to maybe see new original lines this year. Already in right very hope four, so. open a new line. Especially maybe. with the motivation of the riders and the condition, you know when you. When you feel the snow like that, you know, you, you're you going for it. And you know even if you tumble, you fall, you're oh, normally no, no, not going to hurt that much. First one, and he landed on the takeoff of the second one, so he was kicked in well, the air. Compression at the landing on the first one, and then he couldn't control the second one. Shame for him. It's a bit sad, because it was a very good idea. I wouldn't have um, thought of that looking at the face from here where we are now, but um, he seems to have scoped his land quite carefully. Well, I thought he would jump straight into it and come in our in our way, and uh, I really thought he would jump it all the way through. <laughs> I was a bit afraid to. Especially so American style, he would go for it. They never Corinne, come here to picnic. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Uh, Corinne uh, is now together with the rider. Maybe, Corinne, you can ask him if he had planned to drop the full thing of, uh, or if uh, dropping one after the other like he did was the plan. Okay, we're here at Harrison from Utah. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, they want to know up there, did you actually plan to, to jump the way you did or did it not quite go as planned? Didn't really plan. Just kind of rode down, but yeah, messed up a little bit up top, but it was fun. Got some good power. It was good. Apparently you took a cliff that no one else has tried yet. Oh, okay. That's cool. So the Americans ripping here in, in Switzerland? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so what brought you to Switzerland? I uh, just need to get my points up for the world tour next next year, hopefully requalify. And uh, what's next up? Uh, next stop, home. Go back home. Back to Utah. How's the snow there, actually? It's been really good. Stability is a little questionable, but for the most part, it's been pretty sweet. More than here? Um, I haven't been back home for a long time, so I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I get home. Watch out. Your score is coming up. Happy? No, never happy. Never happy. Never. Come on. It is what it is. Nice day, though. Yeah. Thanks for the show.